Good morning, everybody. It is currently 6.30 a.m. and right now I'm getting ready for a three-day flight attendant trip. We have the queen herself right here who has graced us this morning with her presence. Hi, Miss Luna. Good morning. I'm just gonna get in some morning snuggles real quick. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> but anyways, we only have one flight today, which is really nice. So I'm going to put my uniform on, finish packing up my stuff, and then we can get out of here. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun I just got to the DFW airport it is currently 7:24 a.m. so I am here exactly 20 minutes before my sign in but I'm hoping that I have enough time to go grab breakfast because I am so hungry now but anyways like I mentioned earlier we only have one flight today and it is from DFW to Tampa Florida so let's head inside have a great day of flying and enjoy this long layover All right, so I am in the airport now, and oh my gosh, it is so cold outside. But I didn't bring my big winter jacket because the destinations that I'm going to on this trip are really warm. So I didn't want to have to lug that giant jacket around for this entire three-day trip. But now I'm starting to regret it because I'm so cold. After going through security, I decided to get some breakfast from this place called Whisk and Bowl. I got their biscuit breakfast sandwich, and let me tell you, it was good, but pretty expensive. I then ate and waited at my gate for our plane to arrive, and then it was time to head off to Tampa, Florida. Just walked in the door of my hotel room. The flight here was great. It was super quick. It was only an hour and 53 minutes. Let's check out this room. We have the bathroom through here. This looks very nice. I love these big mirrors that hotel bathrooms always have. And then we have another full length mirror right here and our bedroom, one big, I believe king size bed. We have a couch and a little desk. What kind of view we have today? Cute, nice view of downtown Tampa. I'm going to change and then figure out what I wanna go do today. I feel much better now that I am out of my uniform. I just changed into some shorts and a tank top because it is absolutely gorgeous outside today. It is partly cloudy and 75 degrees Fahrenheit out. Real quick, I want to thank AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. As someone who is consistently on the road eating all different kinds of foods, sometimes not the healthiest, it can be difficult to make sure that my body is receiving the proper amount of nutrients it needs. But that's where AG1 comes in to fill the nutritional gaps in my diet. AG1 is an all-in-one greens powder that helps support your body's nutritional needs across four pillars of health. Gut health, immune support, energy, and recovery. In my description box below, I have a link for you all to get a year's supply of vitamin D3 K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. AG1 is packed with 75 vitamins and minerals and whole food sourced ingredients. It also tastes great. It truly is a game changer for supporting your immune system and AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every day. So don't forget that AG1 is going to give all of you in my community a year's supply of the immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Just click the link below. Since it is such a gorgeous day out here in Tampa, I decided to go on a walk around downtown, explore a little bit. I am very hungry, so I stopped at a place called So Fresh to grab some lunch, and I can tell you exactly what I got. I got a Mediterranean salad with garlic herb chicken, a fruit cup, and the crimson berry herbal iced tea. So let's give it a try. Oh, that is so refreshing. That tastes so good. 
I swear one of my favorite things to do is to just sit outside in the sun and eat and relax. It just feels so nice. Lunch was fabulous. That food was seriously so good. After I ate, I came back up to my hotel room and I spent some time working on editing my vlog from Utah, which if you guys haven't seen that yet, you should go check it out. There's some beautiful scenery in that video. And now I am about to head down to the gym so I can get in a little bit of a workout on this layover. I just ordered some dinner to get delivered here to the hotel on Uber Eats. Y'all know me, normally I am way better about bringing my own food, but for this trip, I was just really tired. And to be honest, over the past few days with how sick Luna was and with Eric and I trying to figure out how we were going to still make our Cancun trip work and get everything rebooked, going grocery store shopping was not at the top of my priority list. So anyways, I'm just ordering food out for this trip. While I wait for my food to get here, I'm going to continue reading my book. I think I'm almost done with this one. Let's see, page 308 of 347. Yeah, I'm close to being done. This book that I'm reading right now is called In My Dreams I Hold a Knife, and the next one I'm going to read is called A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm not gonna lie, of the thrillers that I have read, this has probably been my least favorite, and it got a lot of really good reviews, and I don't know why, I just, I can't connect with the characters, I'm not really into it, but I want to finish it, so they already you know, gave away like who the big murderer was. So anyways, I kind of am just waiting for everything to tie together, but it's a decent book. It's just definitely not my favorite thriller that I've ever read. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? I am starting to get ready for bed. I am drinking some chamomile tea and I actually just finished my book. I surprisingly really enjoyed the ending even though the book wasn't my favorite. I thought the ending was really good and it tied everything together so well. And to finish out my night before I go to bed, I'm going to start season two of Bridgerton. I absolutely loved season one of Bridgerton. So I'm really hoping that season two is just as good and I'm really excited to watch it. So I'm going to watch Watch this and then head off to bed and I will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody. I just made myself a cup of coffee to wake up because it is currently 5 something a.m. It is 5.04 a.m. Also season two, episode one of Bridgerton was fabulous. So if you haven't watched season one, go watch that and then you can start watching season two. It was really good. Um, I definitely still have high hopes for this season. I don't know if it'll be better than the first because I just feel like the first is so hard to top, but you know, we'll see. At this point, I think I have about half an hour before I need to head out my hotel room downstairs so we can head to the airport. So I'm going to continue getting ready. Whenever I'm getting ready early morning for a trip, as soon as I use a product, I put it right back in the little bag that I bring it in and then I make sure to put it right back in here in my travel pouch for it. Because if I just leave everything spread out across the counter and then it's time to go, I'll be super stressed trying to pack everything up. So I try to stay as organized as possible while I'm getting ready. All 
All right, it is 5.30 a.m. now. I'm doing great on time. I wanna leave here in a few minutes so I can head downstairs. And today we are working two flights. Our first is from, where are we? I can't remember where we are. Tampa. Yes, we are in Tampa. So the first flight is from Tampa to Chicago. And then we are flying from Chicago to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. I had this layover a long time ago. It was pre-pandemic. Yes, it was, um, I want to say it was like 2020. It was like February of 2020, right before everything hit. And that was the last time I've had this layover. So I'm super excited to be back and to bring you all with me. But anyways, I am working first class today. I am the lead flight attendant, which as you all know, is one of my favorite positions to work. Work, so I'm really excited for today. Let's make it great and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Just got to Chicago and oh my gosh, it is freezing. I definitely wish I would have brought my winter coat now. It's even snowing outside, but I just keep thinking about how soon we'll be in Mexico and it will be warm and sunny. I just got to my hotel and I am just feeling giddy. You all know that beach layovers are my absolute favorite. I'm in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico right now and I'm going to make an entirely separate vlog for this layover. But first, let me show you the view from my balcony. I mean, come on, how gorgeous is that? So anyways, make sure that you all stay tuned for my next vlog from here in Puerto Vallarta. Mm -hmm. 